Hey, so it's Elliot J here again with Contour Statistics. So today I'm going to show how to include two different groups, two different categories, categorical variables, into a scatter plot. So to get started, uh, what you need to do is separate the two groups. In my case, it's boys and girls. And then have your X variable first, the one that's predicting the Y variable. So in this case, the hours of violent TV watch per week uh, is predicted to um, affect the amount of aggressive acts that are going to be observed at school. So to begin, highlight the first category. In this case, it just happens to be boys. Quick insert, click insert, and then go to the scatter plot tool. Hit the first one on the top left. Okay. So now we have just the boys. This is where a lot of people run into trouble. So now uh, move the graph to get out of the way because we're going to need to highlight these other regions really soon. So now that we've done that, right click this graph anywhere in here and hit select data. Once you've hit select data, first let's edit uh, the first group. We want to call this boys because that's the name of the group. Now that we've edited that, we're going to add the new group, which is girls. So add the group name is girls. And then we're going to select our X values. To do that, you hit this button right here. And then you highlight everything you want. And then you close out by hitting this button right here. And then now we'll do the same with the Y values. So you click on this button, highlight all the Y values, and exit out this way. And now hit OK. And then hit OK. And now let's go down and notice that we have all our data. So perfect. We're most of the way there now that we have our data. So next thing, hit the plus. Take off the grid lines. APA doesn't like grid lines. Add axis titles and add legend. So now we can tell which ones are the boys and which ones are the girls. So now let's change our axis title. This was our X is hours watch final TV. Hours of violence TV watched. And then our Y, if you can recall, is violence acts at school. Awesome. So next, we have to change our colors to the boring APA colors. If you're not trying to follow an APA guideline, don't worry about this part. But because uh, this is for psychology in particular, we have to follow these guidelines to make our colors um, just as non-colorful as possible, because oftentimes we're printed in black and white. So click on your data. You can just click any point, right-click it, and then there's a fill button. Let's make the boys black. So now they're black. But notice there's still a blue outline around them. We have to take care of that. So with this data marked, now that we've clicked on it, hit the paint can, the fill in line, and then go to marker. Once you've clicked on marker, there's a border option. And in the border option, change this to the color we have. So in the case here, it's black. So now it's a full black, uh, full black dot. And now we're going to do the same thing with the orange. So right click the data, fill to, let's do this gray right here. And there's still an orange around the gray, so we have to go back. Make sure this data is still highlighted. You can do it just by clicking on it. And then in the paint option, click marker. And then you can change this now to just make sure it's the same color gray, because we want this to be a full solid line. And great, now we have our data. If this is all you needed to know, that's fine. Uh, you can put the video here. If you want to learn how to do a trend line, that's really easy and we can do that right now. How you do a trend line is first you have to highlight your data. So click any of the data points and it will highlight all the data. Go to the plus option and then click trend line. Now that you have a trend line, click on the trend line itself 
because we want the trend line to be the same color. In this case, it's black. So click the paint and change it to black. Notice that it's dotted. I don't think the dotted looks very good. So go to dash type. And then instead of this rounded dot, go to the solid line option. And then now do the exact same for the girls. So click on any of their data points, add trend line. And then now you have to change the color of it. So you can do it by just right clicking it. Sometimes it takes a moment. So yeah, you right click it and then you click on the background you want. And now that you have it the color you want, change the dash type to solid. And then the only thing you have to do now is get rid of these here in the legend. And you're good to go. So this is how you do it. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Elliot J with Conquer Statistics.